Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. Um, we have some pretty important stuff to talk about today. Extremely. Um, so the topic, you guys probably saw it from the title. Episode one, each episode, we're going to try to like really dive into some like really deep stuff. Yeah. Um, this episode we are talking about is adultery wrong. So, wow. I mean, I'll, I'll have you start. Is adultery wrong? Uh, I'm going to go on... Um Record and say, yeah, it's wrong. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I also think it's wrong. Ben? Uh, Andrew made a good point earlier. What's the biblical backing for it? Yes or no, Ben? It's, no. A, y- it's a yes, yes. or no. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the show. Bold in its colors, graceful in its motion, the butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations, beginning its life as a lowly caterpillar and evolving into an exotic flying masterpiece. But what happens to the butterfly when it passes from this earth, you may ask? It's quite simple. They transform into ninjas. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. Ninjas are butterflies. We got the show. It's ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are butterflies. Not ninjas or butterflies. Ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are butterflies. And we're back. Hey, guys. Hey, hello. Welcome to the show, guys. Our brand new Spanking new show. Spanking new show. Hello. Welcome to Ninjas Are Butterflies, episode one, where we discuss things of hot topics, comedy, and things that are irrelevant to anything and anyone. And don't forget literature. Literature, of literature, course. Of we course. read poetry every now and then. Yes, uh, our philosophy of literature and the uh, cultural aspirations of literature and such. Yes, welcome. This is our new show, Ninjas Are Butterflies, brought to you by Sunday Cool Yes. Right, Ben? Sunday Cool. Sunday Cool. Cool. Perfect. Excellent. My name is Andy. My name is Josh. Boom. My name is Ben. And that is... My name is Andrew. Andrew. Very good. Beautiful. Our little... So, this this is what we're doing now. We... This is it. This is... This is not a podcast. It is a podcast, but it's not just a podcast. It's not just a podcast. It's a show. It's a show, Ben. It's It's a a podcast show. show. It's a comedy show that is in the podcast format. Excuse me. Excuse you. You're blowing Uh, my mind. So we can have, you can listen to it. It's a podcast. If you're watching it and listening to it, it's a show. All right. But um, so if you're not watching it, you're missing out because you're missing we're out some beautiful you're not see, you're boys. Not me do this. If you're just oh, listening to man. it, I'm not, even, I'm not even going to describe what he's doing I right can't now. Believe you he's have, doing that. you have to watch it. What? Oh, oh, oh! I know what you're thinking. And yes, that was a watermelon Red Bull, <laughs> not sponsored. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about what the show is going to be. What are, you, what are your hopes and dreams for this? So, we've been dreaming up this show idea for, I would say, well over a year. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be kind of a mixture of comedy, improv. We're going to interview some people every show. Yeah, we're going to have some characters on. We may run some ideas by you guys. We're just Speaking gonna... of which, we are interviewing someone today. Super, super cool. Um, and his name is... Marky, Marky Keister, I think Keister. it is. Marky Keister, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mr. Marky Keister, he's a really cool guy. Um, he's doing a lot of cool stuff in the church church world and uh, even outside of that, so we're excited to interview him. He's here today, so our first guest ever on the episode, um, I mean the show. So, yeah, so yeah. basically the whole idea of the show is fun stuff. Try, we're just having fun. Comedy! Comedy! Yes, so everything you see on here is... Uh, if you have to wonder, is this a joke? It probably is, or it's probably not. And if and if, and if it isn't, and it offends you, then we'll tell you it's a joke. So Maybe, that, yeah, yeah. So probably won't. Probably won't. Very good. But yeah, yeah so it's exciting. That's that's basically the show. Uh, 
Ninjas or butterflies? If you're wondering what how we name this, yeah. What well, give us the rundown on how this? Because we've been trying to come up with a name. We first of all, we try to do a podcast. We've been wanting to do a podcast for a really, really long time. We didn't know what it was going to look like. We didn't know how it was going to look. We didn't think it was going to be a kind of a show like this. And we also just needed a name because that's where you, that's kind of like where the fire starts. Yeah. So, so we didn't want to be um, tied down to a name to where it's like this is what the show's about. So. This is a name that I'll just say we'll explain the meaning of this name at the end of this podcast. Not this podcast, but when we're done. Yeah. The so, very last episode of this show ever, whenever we have a falling out, whenever we inevitably, you know, uh, hurt one in, one another to the point of no reconciliation, that's when it's going to happen. Yeah. Right? So it's you have happen. you have to stick uh, stick along. It's going to be 30 years from now, but it'll be worth the wait, guys. It really, really will. And each episode might be our last episode. So at That's the, our, yeah. So we'll say the meaning of this at the end, but we'll cut it out. You mm. should. At the end of each episode, we're going to look at each other and say, want to do another one? Want to do another one next week? And I, if we I don't, don't and if we don't, then we'll, tell, we'll explain the name. I don't know if I want to do another you episode You should record today the meaning. So that in 30 years, you can be like, throw it back. Yeah. Roll the clip! That's what we'll say 30 years from now. It'll be 75. Yeah. Um, Holy clip! Play the clip. 75. You're 13 years old? I'm 11 and a half Uh, at the moment. July 5th. Do you remember July 5th? Uh, July 5th. After 4th of July, it was a Tuesday, I believe. This year, yeah. no, I don't remember anything happened. Why did something happen? Did anything? I don't know. Feel different? Look different? July fifth? I don't think so. I don't World think anything. It was a normal. It was a normal day. We went to work. It was a Tuesday, right? Yeah, we had Monday. Yeah, I don't know. Why? Well, there's something that happened. Prove it. Wait, I got to prove I gotta it. Pull the article. All right. I Good have, thing you're prepared. Have you ever heard of CERN? CERN, no. CERN. It is. Hold on, golly. I had everything highlighted. I'm You're not, talking I'm about not, the Hadron Collider? Yes. In Europe. But it's specifically in Switzerland? Sweden? Oh, I should I really should have like written this stuff down. Anyways. Italy. Switzerland and France. Yeah. Sw- Switzerland and France. CERN. It's Switzerland and France? Yeah, it's a tunnel. So, CERN is a particle, hey, hydron, hadron collider. It's a tunnel, right? That's okay. buried 300 feet below. In Switzerland. The, uh, and in France. Yeah, it's France. a big okay. old, big old tunnel. Okay. And the whole point of it is they shoot atoms constantly, and they're trying to collide them to discover new particles or what they call a god particle, dark matter, Trying to do all this weird stuff, right? People's fear is that when they collide them, that it's it has the potential to open up a black hole, like it has the potential to create (laughs) a black hole. Okay, is that like just like a possible? No, it's it's legitimate issue. Like it's a legitimate could be a problem. The science, the sorry, the science. What I was thinking, supermassive black hole. Oh, okay. (laughs) Hey, Ben. He's trying to explain a black hole to me. Okay, all right. Josh is being a right. scientist. They're, okay, the, but right, they're saying go. the size, if it did create a black hole, it would be smaller than a molecule. So, like, it would lose its force. But they don't really know. Yeah, would we even know if it started See, at that point? Like, was it created? If it was that tiny and swallowed They, they would be able to. So, who's have, running the computers. this? Who's running it? Like, who's in charge of the this? man? Who's, who's in charge of the tunnel? Um, Show the... Show Elon the, Musk. Can you show the... The logo of CERN. This is what all the conspiracy people are freaking out about. Type in CERN logo. It better be like Microsoft, Bill Gates, or something. So you see that people are freaking out because it it has first of all basically first of all let's talk about the logo. Terrible. Who logo. designed this? It's like one of their kids. Like, hey, like, listen, just draw something, and I'm gonna make it like you know. I'll, I'll, we'll make it as a logo. Just make it That's the number ter- okay. nine. But the, the, from the every man, angle. the man who started it, a Swiss man, he said, "Young Frederick, 
we need a logo for a science project me and the boys are doing. Crazy. So maybe just imagine what do you envision particle accelerator looking like? Close your eyes, draw a circle and, and go. And he said, "Papa, <laughs> this. I don't know what that is." Is he German? Is I don't know what a Switzerland accent. Schminger, Schminger, Pulker, Burger. Perfect. Yeah, yeah that's okay. I mean that's probably that, That's a bad logo. The, the Swedish But chef. people were freaking out because it it lo- it has 666 Oh, within it, right? Yeah. It's literally six to like three sixes just turned around. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think who knows. Right. But if you look up the statue that is outside of CERN, right? Look yeah. it up. Look at, look it up. It's what? The, it's the God of Shiva, the God oh, Shiva, yeah. which in Hindu is the God of destruction. Oh, cool. And if All you good look, things. if All you good look, things. Shiva is stomping on a human Basically being like, like you are, humans are ignorant. Nice. I am the God of time, yeah. destruction. That's the particle. That's the particle. You see so, that person she's stepping on? That's the person who created this tunnel. <laughs> Frederick, that's you did a bad <laughs> job with the logo. <laughs> that's that's punishment. That's Shiva will step on you for all of eternity. So this has never happened before, right? The particle accelerator thing? Yeah. Not at this scale. This is insane. This, I, mean, it's, I mean, I don't understand... Literally 99% of it. I understand about mm, 20%. But I feel like... The, I got the basis down. Yeah, yeah. But it's been out of commission for a while, right? hmm And they just started it back up July 5th. Yeah. What are you looking at? That little blue guy hanging out of the water. Oh, okay. The same statue. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we download all these photos because these are weird. So, um, the... Where was it? What is it saying? Oh, okay. July 5th. They, yeah. They, it was out of commission for a little bit. They're fixing stuff. July 5th, they turned it back on, mm-hmm. and um, what happened? people are claiming that we have entered a different dimension, like a multiverse, oh, because a okay. lot of people are saying, and I just saw this on TikTok, people are saying, go outside, does the sky look different? Like, it looks like it used to look. Yeah. It looks like it used to look. Like The sky <laughs> looks like it used to look. The sky's been weird. <laughs> What? what does that mean if it's not if it's looking like? <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> what does it mean when you look when it looks like it used to look? Yeah, how could it look different? It's like oh, that looks like it used to look on if July Fourth. It did look different, then yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> for me personally, I don't believe in this whole multiverse thing. It's fascinating. Yeah, but something has seemed weird. Yeah, just in society. Mm-hmm. And this culture, ever since um, COVID, yeah, like that just set off something weird. Kind of like a reset kind of thing. It's like yeah. it's almost like we've just been living in a weird dream, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had that moment in June where everything had like there was like ten terrible things, like life changing almost things happened in one day. In one day, and we're all just like Did found we? out <laughs> stuff about people. We and, like people were driving insane, yeah. acting crazy, and we almost died. Going like eighty miles an hour on the highway, and we and you texted me. And you're saying, "What if we actually died on that trip, and now we're just in an alternate universe? We were like born again for yeah, some reason, or like June. we just entered." Yeah. What if was, we were? That's but it was still running. What if we? No, died? it wasn't running. Ben, listen. Exactly. There was a pause listen, in the listen, matrix. Listen. What if we died on that trip? Uh huh. In July fifth, we're now back in this multiverse. Oh. The pastors are gonna love this podcast. Yeah. What does that mean? This is really diving into the just the Marvel universe. Yeah. This is not founded in any scripture, <laughs> biblical theology. This is just me having fun. But here's also, the but, if I, fun. but if I could be a superhero, Time if, I, get right if we're in a different, if we're in a, in a different universe, I want a super superhero power. Yeah. If we're in a different universe, what do you think you're I'm, like in another universe? Probably hopefully, have more sk- hopefully skinnier. Hopefully skinnier. Hopefully a little bit more funny. I don't <laughs> know if that's possible. Close. I don't know if it's, it's possible. possible. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Uh, okay. Well, I wonder if in an alternate universe, my pinkies aren't crooked. Show them. Show em. You were born that way, right? I was born this way. I was born this way. God's I just, got God's crooked just doing, pinkies. Up, I was born this God's way. God's just up in I heaven just making now. everyone. My mom said, what and, in the world? And what he's doing is he's. Yeah, we're, we, thank you for me and this mic. 
we he's just ironing out every human being and just making sure everyone's just good to go. And then he's like, you're like, oh, geez, I just spilled my coffee. And and then they sent him like, wait, what'd you do with that last person we just had out? And you're like, oh, we sent him down. I thought you were done. He's like, I didn't. Did you straighten his pinkies out? The angel that makes is in charge of hands. Yeah. It's so like, did you like, did you check it? Huh? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's gonna cover it in tattoos anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the angel. Yeah. That's what an angel sounds yeah. like. That's in charge of making hands. Yeah. <laughs> it also, doesn't matter. Uh, it's this is we're we're speaking a lot into theology, assuming that angels are making the people <laughs> <laughs> with an iron. <laughs> Just hey, that's not out what we fingers. believe in. <laughs> uh, this is what I meant. Hey, you speak for yourself, okay? Oh. Speak for yourself. Do what, Ben? Mm. Hey, Ben. Re- Just move hey, on. Hey, next next time you say something and then we can't hear you, immediately take a drink after like you just <laughs> did <laughs> so we can't hear you. That's a hey, good point. You, ask, me, ask me what I just said when I said boo, 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 boo. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Did you repeat that first? <laughs> Could you repeat that real quick? Can you? What? Moving on. I'm we thirsty. ready to bring on Marky, Mr. Marky? Let's yeah, let's bring on Marky. Marky Keister. Let's right after, well, after this after after uh, this yeah. break. This yeah. ad. We have an ad break because we have to do it. And don't just skip over it because I yeah I've listened to podcasts. I know what I do. I go you don't do it because it's worth it. All right, here we go. Three, two, two, one. Hey, Andy. Uh, yeah, Josh. Have you ever I don't know wanted to order custom teas? Um, almost like every day. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered, huh, I want to order custom tees, but the, the shirts are like super soft and like it's water-based print, which is like a super soft print. That's all I wear. <laughs> well, guess what? What? Sundaycool.com. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we do custom t-shirts. That's who wait we work for. That's who pays our bills. Fully cut. Wait a minute. It can't be fully custom. Fully customizable. I thought you only did templates. Nope. We also do customizable artwork. So if I want to have an astronaut eating ice cream on top of a flamingo on, you know, like, at, you know, sitting in, like on the Grand Canyon. That's yes. possible? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That's and incredible. guess what? You can get it on stickers. No. Yeah, we do stickers. You can get it on a hat patch. Get out. Yep, leather, whatever, whatever kind of hat patches we do. I'm not entirely sure. Leather right? cool. and cork, and cork, all that fully customizable. We do that. We're like the one stop shop. We also make funny custom videos. All that Sunday cool. How cool! Awesome. So you should follow us and go to sundaycool.com as well, or call one eight hundred eight six five. Zero seven two six. Zero seven two six. I think. Yes, that's the number. Is it? Check it out. No matter what the number is, it's gonna be right below. And if, and <laughs> right, Andrew. You could Google it. It's gonna be on the screen. On the screen. Just look right here. I'm holding it. Oh, it's down here now. <laughs> and we'll do that's this. That's an editing nightmare. It's up here. Stop. <laughs> it keeps moving. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's coming towards me. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there it is. Whoever edited that did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So if you go and get a quote or what what do we what do we want them to do? Sundaycool.com slash order. Start a quote process. Start a quote process. Stickers, shirts, hats, lanyards, pants, shorts. Literally, if you need something that has your name or custom idea. We don't it, do shoes. We got it. We can do shoes we if can we do want. It. What? We can do shoes. What? Man. We have connections. Yes, we do. Um if, if you see this episode and you fill out a quote. Within a week of this episode coming out, we'll send you a limited time Ninjas or Butterfly stickers. Stickers. Not even within a week. Anytime. Just mention the podcast in the quote. It could be 2034. Watch this episode. And you'll be in entered into a drawing for a very limited amount of time t-shirt. Ninjas or Butterfly t-shirt. Is that super soft? Hey, Ben. It is. You and better believe it, bud. It's cool. Excellent. Sundaycool.com. Now back to the beautiful people. Back to the show. That was good. All right, and we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful guest here today with us. We have somebody who's absolutely been blowing up all across the market, all across America, world even. Um, he's been sending us a lot of messages trying to get us on to be the first guest on our podcast show. So here we are without further ado, the one, the only, the great Marky Keister, everybody. Welcome, Marky. Hey. hey. Good to see you, Marky. How you been? Hey, uh, 
Hold on, let me fix this thing. It is wonderful to have you in the studio. You're a very sharp dresser. So it's just like a twisty thing that you Yeah, you just up. twist it a little bit, you know, pull it up a little bit. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. How's it going, everyone? It's good. How are you? I'm great. You know? I'm fantastic, actually. Okay, yeah. Just living life on the edge, hey, really. I, I love that. We we're all trying to trying to be like you, apparently. So uh so it's Marky Keister, is that correct? Marky Keista. Keista. Okay. Are you from Boston? Is that is that no 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 no. Okay. I'm not from Boston. Where are you from? That's actually an insult. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, where, where are you from originally? Nebraska. Nebraska. Mm, yep. Excellent. Love it. Right Cornhuskers. Family roots in the Norway region. Oh. That's where the Kista, it's an ancient Viking name. Oh. I didn't, known I had known no for idea. being the most powerful of the Vikings. That's incredible. It's fantastic. Very interesting stuff. That's answer. Well, we appreciate you reaching out to us and coming um, on such short notice. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me. That's what I was told. That's what my manager told me. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're just wires crossed. That's that's, that's fine. fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, I, yeah, just know that I'm not interested in this. Yeah, but the the knowledge that you'll gain from me. Yes, fantastic. And we're 100 percent interested in that. So thank you so much for being of course. here. So do I, do I just um, tighten this thing? Yeah, you just, just tighten yes, it until it stops. Yeah, until it, it stops. So, um, Marky, I just quick question. Just kind of give a, um, I, I obviously know, but give the audience kind of an idea. What do you do for a living? Right. Alan, it is? Andy. Andy. Yeah. Right. Josh. You are? Yeah. Ben. Ben. Benjamin. I'm the one you're emailing. Hebrew. Hebrew yep. boy. Yep. Tribe yeah. of Benjamin right there. Tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah. Very fascinating. Yep. What was your question? Uh, just, can you explain to the audience, like, what you do for a living? Sure, Alan. Yeah. So, basically, Andy. I'm a seller. Yep. Sell things. I invent things. Entrepreneur. Basically, everything that makes a man successful, that's what I do. Okay. Look at this. You see that? Wow. That's, are you pointing your hair? Yeah, it's a, it's a ponytail. Oh. Men of success have ponytails. I don't know if you knew that. No. Oh, well, but they do. <laughs> that, that that explains you know why we're, where I'm Success. <laughs> success is what hangs from the back of my head. Josh, take notes. <laughs> take notes, kid. I don't know how that yep. would work. Josiah? It's Joshua. Josh. Josh, yeah. Josiah, yeah, all right, Josh, Alan. Joshua for long. What else um, you got from me, bud? Uh, so I got, a, just, I got a tight ship, so yeah, I got a- No worries. Yeah. Always on the so, move. Uh, I was curious, um, what made you realize you would be such a great salesperson? Well, look at me. This? Yeah. He's a man of talent. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't I, even, yeah. You can tell me to sell anything, I can sell it. Okay. Uh, this this lamp right here. Just that lamp? That, yeah. Is sure. Okay? Yeah. Close your eyes. Okay. Just for one second. Yep. There. It's dark, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I guess, yeah. You miss the light? Definitely. Do you sure. know what lurks in darkness? Uh, scary creatures. Just, yeah, scary. That's Open your eyes. Saying. You need that lamp. The darkness stole my family. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. The, I'll take the, What does that mean? Dark. The darkness stole your family? Hiding in the, in the shadows of the dark are monsters. Okay. You need a light. Where's your, where's your family, though? You mentioned... They're gone. Is that a hypothetical? The shadows like, you, got them. Are you talking symbolically, like they like they stole your family? Is it, or right they legitimately the are missing? Let's just say the monster took my wife and kids in the court of law. Okay. The, okay. All right. Things are starting to add up here. Okay, cool. Um, uh, What has been your, like, maybe your biggest product that you've ever sold? Like, what kind of, like, what markets are you in that sure. you've been selling? Sure. In a lot of markets, you yeah. know, um, in the... Uh, uh, the battery selling markets. The um, I sell uh, acrylic paints. Yeah, really says, into acrylic pa paints. When we asked you uh, what market, we, when in the email we asked you what market you were currently can I use in. This? Can I use this? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you said just the word butterscotch. What butterscotch. Is that? What is that? Huge, mean? Butterscotch is huge in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. They call me the butterscotch guy. What? Marky the butterscotch guy. That's who mm -hmm. I am on the I've streets. Heard I've heard of that. You have. Mm -hmm. He's heard of it. I've heard the butterscotch boy. Is that you as well? No, that was when I was a child. I started as a child. Oh, got it. Now yeah. I'm a guy. I'm yeah. a man. I'm the butterscotch king. Okay. Go any city in the Midwest and say, hey, who's the butterscotch king? They're all going to say, Maki. Keister. Keister. Yeah. Okay. That's me. Well, butterscotch is my life. I apologize. I should have known. Success. I've gained so much success off of selling butterscotch, mm -hmm. the new inventions of butterscotch, all things butterscotch. I was able to go off and set off my own new ventures, if you will. Wow. Ventures of selling acrylic paints, batteries, specifically triple A's. Yeah. And all sorts of things. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to break into the, the church market. Oh, the church oh, market. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Excellent. Yeah, because a lot of people are, I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, every time I talk to somebody, it's either butterscotch, batteries, or the church. Right. Do so, I just um, tighten what, this thing down? Yeah, just tighten it up. All right. Um, so what is, uh, what kind of products would you be selling to the church? Because I don't sure. understand. So before I got into the church market, I said, hey, you can't just trust the, the butterscotch guy to come in and try to sell things to the church. So of I course. became an ordained minister. Oh, wow. That That's takes right. A lot, so a lot of commitment. If you boys want to get married. An interesting idea. Sorry, already, pick, already, pick, already, oh, you're already married. You you're already it. married. Beat you to it. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm going to marry the two of you, but no. if you have a lady oh, in mind, yeah, I know what you the meant. church. I knew what you meant. Yeah, church. You yeah. got you got to find your groove. Yeah. So, what products are you talking about? Right. For the so, sorry. Do I just tighten this thing? Yeah, just tighten okay, it. Up. Just tighten it. It's kind of loose. So, the church market getting mm. into a lot of things. Have you heard of the Temptation Station? Mm-hmm. It's I, fascinating. I haven't. It's You've actually. Heard it? You've he's heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's okay. heard of the Butterscotch King. He's heard of AAA Batteries, and he's heard of the well, Temptation. Yeah, I've heard of the Butterscotch either. Boy or Guy. Guy. Butterscotch Guy. Yeah. I thought Joey Marcus was. The so that's, been, that's don't been, talk about Joey. That's in between the boy and the king. That's yeah, if yeah. you ever yeah. mentioned Joey I've again, I've heard of a different king of okay. Butterscotch. All right. So tell us about the Temptation Station. What does that sure. mean? I didn't mean to upset you. Let's go ahead. Temptation Station. Yes. Right. What is the church good at? Uh, helping people not uh, sin. Yeah. Yeah. Not right. Sin. Yeah. What happens when you don't sin? You don't go to church. Church, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it so makes sense, I guess. everyone's leaving the church. Attendance is low. Donations are down. So what are you going to do? What do they do? Temptation station. Okay, so what does that mean? Right. I bet you, you're you wondering what that means. Yeah. It's I mean, pretty, I, it's pretty you, self-explanatory. You, you set up booths in the church. Yeah. You're dealing with gluttony? Don't worry about it. Okay. We got donuts. We got pizza. Mm. Oh, okay. So, so I just so, tighten this thing? Yeah, yeah, just tighten it up. <laughs> so if you're dealing with, like, lust, if someone's dealing with right. lust. Right. You have pictures of cute people hanging up. Okay. It's just, it, it catches people's eyes. What is that? You just get I deal with lust. I'm going to go in and look at it. Oh, so then they start to sin again. They start to sin again, and er- guess who fixes it? Er- er- ergo. Er- yeah, oh, ergo. The church. So they go back Attendance to Attendance is up. Yeah. 150%. 150 across the board? All churches that use the Temptation Station, up 150%. Sometimes 250%. How many, how many churches fun. are you how many churches are you in right now? Temptation Station. It's wise. hard to it's hard to count. I'll ask your manager. It's hard to count? That with the the, the re- we're, we're we're going back to the research. We have we had a full pipeline of just all these churches. Uh systems crashed, papers got lost, got burnt. Okay. Um, COVID didn't help. IRS you know, yeah. just common, common things. documents, yeah. Did, things yeah. are just, they just disappear. What other products do you guys, you have? I'm glad you asked, yeah. Alan. It's called the sensor. The sensor? The sensor. Sensor? What does that mean? What's going to stop you from sinning? Uh, I mean, a relationship How about with a Jesus? shock? Yeah, thank a you. A shock. Yeah. So the sensor, it's a brand new invention. It's, I, ha- I own the patent for it. It's basically about six dog collars. All stacked up on one on top of each other. Guess Six. what? And it has it has a it has a thing where where you want to sin, right? You're like, oh man, I've eaten a lot. I'm kind of full, but that cheeseburger looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Ah! It gets you. Oh, it shocks you. It shocks the sin right out of you. Oh, sensor. It's great. It's a, it's a great invention. It's a sensor for your sins. That God. it is. Okay, cool. it's pretty self explanatory All my inventions are very self explanatory Store. That's <laughs> it's uh, the butterscotch. Yeah. What is butterscotch? You know what it is. It's in the name of the invention. Batteries, AAA. You know. Yeah. Temptation station. You got it. Lamp. It's a lot to do with food. The yeah. light bulb. Yep. You think light bulb I, ideas? You think yeah. light? No. You think Einstein invented the light bulb? No. No, it was my great was grandpappy, Henry the Fifth, Kista. Uh huh. Invented the light bulb. Oh, I had no idea. That's. Are you sure? Positive. Am I sure? Okay. I, I, are you I, kidding I, I, me? No, I didn't. I didn't mean hey, let's, let's not be all. Let's let's, let's 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 not do that. No. Okay. Yeah. My bad. I didn't mean. Just to. why don't you just I've, back off no, for but, a second? But, uh, no. I I think the sensor. Do I just tighten is, uh, this? Yeah. Just tighten. Because it's kind of. I think I think the sensor is uh, a great idea. I think the temptation station. Um, I I have questions more about that later, but uh. I think I think as long as you're um, successful, there's obviously a reason why you're so 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 successful, right? And you're being such a great. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Yeah, ponytail, wow. obviously. Success. Yeah, so, wow. Um, I literally sweat success. Yeah, Marky, I really appreciate you coming today. Right. I really do, and uh, I I think I just, was, I, just, I just want to back up. Yeah, go ahead. Let's just back up. Yeah. Benjamin, 
My Hebrew friend Benjamin yeah, mentioned ben. something yeah. earlier. He mentioned the name Joe. Mm-hmm. And I just want to go back to that. Joey, yeah. Because Joey I don't Marcus. want to ever hear that name again. Okay, don't Joey take it Marcus? off from Ben. Ben's my good friend. He's he didn't he didn't. Joey used to be a, my business partner, right? Okay. We went in on a venture. Let's create a play place for children. Okay. They serve pizza. Huh. They play arcade games. When was this when did you guys have this idea? You and Joey have this back. idea. Back. Way back. Way back in the day. Okay. Way back before children's entertainment was even a thing. Okay. Kids were outside playing with rocks and sticks. Me and Joey came together and we said, hey, let's yeah. do something great for the kids. Yeah. The kids are the future. We came up with that slogan. Children are the future. Are our future. Yeah. We came up with that. That's a great, great slogan. It's trademark, yeah. so don't use it. Don't say it. No, I'm good. You have to pay I, a license. I'm sorry. I'll take it back. What did more I just say? Know. What? What was the thing I just said? I can't remember. The more you know. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, so, so like, what would be your mascot for your dream? What was your mascot for that? Well, his name was Chucky, Chucky. Entertainment Cheese. Okay. Oh, I, Chucky Entertainment Cheese. Okay, that sounds familiar. Wait, are you are you talking about Chucky e. Cheese? I'm talking about Chucky e. Cheese, and Joey stole that idea and left me out to dry. Now all he's doing is serving pizza to kids, and the mascot is nothing but a rat. Hey, chill. It's a rat. So. Just like Joey. Okay. I'm so, sick of Joey. So you, he took the idea and ran with it, and he didn't get Not you only did he take cut. it, he took that rat's claw and stabbed me right in the back. Okay. And wow. he became Butterscotch King. That's right. Yeah, but look at you now, right? Are, yeah, look at know, me now. Yeah. But Every, let's go every, back everyone knows and talk about, about this rat. Yeah. This okay. rat named Joey, who the mascot is named after. Okay. So you're, so you and Joey don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. No, of course we don't talk anymore. Okay. Backstabbing Joey. Okay. Stole my idea. My idea was do the, the mascot a rat. Yeah. You can't have a rat in a restaurant serving pizza to kids. That's unsanitary. Yeah. And maybe you just pump it on the Drake. whole Chuck E. Cheese. Hey! Enough with Joey and Chuck E. Cheese. He ain't nothing but a dirty rat, and I'm tired of it. He keeps talking a lot about Chuck E. Cheese. Listen, um, Marky, I'm. I, I didn't mean to get you riled up. I didn't mean to. What do I just tighten? Yeah, just, just tighten this. Yeah, just tighten that. Um, I, uh, I appreciate you coming. Um, of course, I, this I, was I, a great I time. Hope it, I hope it was beneficial for you because it was beneficial. I hope it was for beneficial us. for you. Yeah, I hope absolutely. you learned a I lot learned about a lot. business. It was, it was a great a first first episode. Thank you so much for of being our very first of guest. Of course, ever. I love being here. You yeah, might see so, some of my advertisements here coming up soon. Yeah, we'll 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 run something after this. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching Ninjas or Butterflies. We hope you guys tune in. We're going to be releasing uh, an episode of this show every single week. So make sure to hit the thumbnail, um, uh, not the thumbnail, The make sure to hit the bell below so you get notified every time we upload. Um, love you guys. Uh, ben, anything to your say? Hebrew, your Hebrew friend Benjamin has a ben, question. Yeah. I just found a fun fact okay. about Chuck E. Cheese. Go for it. Between the years of 1977 I'm, and 1993, he was a rat. In 1993, they reclassified He's still him. a rat. He's a mouse. Okay. All right, Ben. Chill. Um, Mar- uh, Marky, thank you so much for coming. Andrew. He's a rat! You. Okay. Technically a mouse. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs>